Good afternoon, family. Good afternoon. So, woke up to a lot of propaganda. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I spoke to the old spiritual advisor. Sorry about the dog. Um, anyhow, um, so, I woke up to a lot of propaganda. And I thought, well, confidential informant. What's so confidential about what I've been doing? Right? Uh, I track pedophiles, turn them into the police, right? Um, I'm a part of my neighborhood watch. I do this openly, right? I don't receive a dime, right? So let me give you some, some backlog. My wife and I, and my now three year old son, who was one and a half then, almost two. And my 15 year old daughter, we moved into a lovely place. We pay lots of money, right? We looked at it online. Oh, it looked lovely, right? Oh, new street, it looked lovely. Went in the middle of the day and looked at it. Oh, it's lovely. It's so quiet in the middle of the day other than the, the dog barking. And then the next day, I step outside to smoke a cigarette. And then my daughter and my son later, let's take, let's take a walk, dad. So we take a walk and I don't know how we missed it, but on the way back, we encounter in front of the house a used condom and a syringe. And of course, my daughter, you know, we shelter her. And so, uh, you know, my daughter, she's like, what's that? And so initially, I'm like, what? So I already knew what it was because there's a house about 80 feet away and they got the shits going on. So um, throughout my time dealing with these people, we found out that they sell meth on one side. It's a lesbian couple that sells meth. Um, they got people in and out. Um, and then the side closest to me is, it's a duplex, um, is heroin and prostitution and needles. And so it's been a battle, guys. For one whole year, we just signed, re, re, re signed a lease, guys. And in fact, they live in a school zone and they live right in front of the neighborhood watch sign. So I took it upon myself to, to I'm not organized through, through the city. Um, I do this all by myself. And I went to war with the heroin in the meth house, right? Now there's a weed house right here too, but that's his business. But when you are out here selling narcotics in a school zone, can't have that. I will not have that. And I will not do it quietly. If you ask the people whose home I've been terrorizing, for the past year, they'll say you, they'll tell you I have not been doing it confidentially. I've been doing that for free. If you come around my house, which is 300 feet from a school, and you live 80 feet from me, putting you 320 feet or 220 feet from an elementary school selling heroin out the front window. They don't even go inside. They walk up to the window, get the heroin and, and run away. And what they do is, is they pull in the back and they do the tricks and shit in the backyard while they have somebody out uh, at the end of the driveway watching. One time I seen the light jiggling back and forth. In the middle of the night, I get up, look at the camera because the camera goes off. I see a light jiggling on the camera. I go over there. It's a man in the back, you know what I'm saying? With a meth pipe jacking off, masturbating. So yeah, I go to war. And I don't do it confidentially. I put it right out in the open. And guess what? I wish somebody would pay me because that's where I've really put myself in danger is trying to stop that shit. This YouTube stuff, this is just a passion. In real life, in real life, I will set up the local heroin dealer. In real life, I will set up the local meth dealer. If you come in my neighborhood and you do it in the school zone and you have your syringe caps on the same sidewalk in the same condoms on the same sidewalk that these babies got to walk past, I will do it out in the open. There ain't no hide and I want them to know it's me. They already know it's me. Nothing confidential. I do this here for free. So bring the needles and the horrors and the meth and the heroin in my neighborhood 
I'm going to try to fight you first. And then they'll, they'll make restraining orders against me. Look that up. They got restraining orders against me, the whole heroin house. I done put stolen motorcycle charges on them, heroin charges, meth charges, all that. Yeah. When you want to do that shit in front of my babies, all that. Because I've been told, I've been told by, by the city that because of the, the relationships over there, anything I do over there in way of furtherance of justice as, as a vigilante would be a hate crime. Because I've been going hard, putting all kind of shit on the fence. Where's, where's meth? Got meth. Sh uh, uh, shoot your local heroin dealer. That's me. That's me. I put it all over their fence every day for a long time until the police told me stop because they put a restraining order on me. A picture of a big ass needle saying, shoot your local heroin dealer. Hey, y'all, if you have a heroin dealer, if you have a heroin dealer in your neighborhood, call me. I'll turn them in. Fuck you mean.